Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is Paul, chapter 78, and this one is titled, Hazashi, please help. Step out of my way, he said coolly, his hair starting to levitate threateningly. You swallowed your fear and scowled at him. No, he replied sharply. His face darkened and his eyes glowed red as his hair stood on end, towering over you. You had never seen Aizawa in this state before, and truth be told, it did scare you, so you stepped back giving him just enough room to get by and quickly make his way to his apartment. By the time you had collected yourself, he had gone, so you just hung your head and tucked your metaphorical tail between your legs and headed back home, completely defeated. So he had meant for us to break up then? Is that it? Is that all? The rest of that weekend was lost on you. Your mind had fallen into a void and you don't remember anything else that happened. Monday morning at school was just you acting calm on the outside but hurting like a paper cut to the heart on the inside. Aizawa kept it professional and so did you, but it was hard keeping it together when he had gone back to calling you Miss Lin, even in the staff room. You felt like it was his constant reminder to you that you two were now at arm's length away and it slapped you in the face every time he called you by your last name. For the next class, get the students into groups and discuss the order of rescue priority, Aizawa said to you in the staff room. Some still don't quite understand who to rescue first. I see, he replied briskly. Yes, I can do that. He nodded and turned away, walking out of the staff room and off down the hall. Your eyes fell to the floor and you let out a soft exhale of defeat through your nostrils. It's a bit chilly in the sound room today, Hazashi commented as he sidled up beside you. Hmm? You hummed, quickly looking up at him. Oh, yeah, it is. Is everything okay with you two? He probed, bending sideways to try and look into your eyes as you averted them to the floor again. No, you admitted. I don't know what's happened. He's been like this ever since the quirk that he was affected by has been lifted. Hmm, has actually hummed loudly. I'll talk to him. Please don't say anything about you and I talking. I don't want him to think that I'm trying sneaky ways to get back with him, you said in a troubled voice. Wait, so you've broken up? Hazashi gasped dramatically, slapping his hands to his cheeks. Shh! You hushed him. Not so loud. Oh my god, why are you so loud? No nostrils! He replied. Eh? Yeah, see? He tilted his head up and pointed to his nose that had no nostrils. Oh. Oh! Oh my god, I never noticed. Well, that's something. How do you breathe? Secret! He replied. So you can be loud about everything else, but the answer to your breathing is a secret? Okay, he replied sassily. I'm going to assume it's from your ass then. Make all the jokes you like. If it makes you smile, then I'm happy, baby, he replied with a grin and dramatic arm movements. You smiled and shook your head. I'll talk to Shota, he said again. Just leave it with me. Thanks, he said with a sad smile. You left the staff room and headed back to the classroom to set up hoping that Hazashi would be able to find out what had caused Aizawa to suddenly change his mind about the two of you. Later that afternoon, you left the school grounds as usual, and Hazashi and Aizawa stayed back. Hazashi had asked Aizawa to help him with something class-related, so that it wouldn't look too suspicious. What do you need my help with? Aizawa asked his longtime friend as they walked to the classroom. Well, see, I'm teaching the students basic conversations in English, and I wanted to set up some tables so that it looked like a coffee house. They are then to order a coffee in English and pay correctly, and I'll be marking their performance accordingly. You need me to move tables? Well, yes. You can move them on your own. Why did you really ask me to stay back? Ozawa asked in a dead tone, seeing right through Hazashi's plan in a second. Ah ha! Ha! Hazashi laughed loudly. Nothing gets by you, Shotoa! Azawa just gave him an annoyed bloodshot stare. Okay, okay, Hazashi said with wild arm movements and another chuckle. I noticed that things have tapered off with you and Yin. Tapered. You've gone back to calling her by her last name, Hazashi said. We're at school, so yes, I'll be calling her by her professional name, Azawa answered diplomatically. And outside of school? Hazashi pressed. I don't see Miss Lin outside of school. Aizawa answered sternly. So there are no romantic feelings involved? Hazashi asked with wiggly eyebrows as he leaned into Aizawa, who had his arms crossed defensively. No. So you don't mind if I shoot my shot? Hazashi asked with a smirk. 
Ozawa stiffened ever so slightly, but Hazashi saw. He didn't make any mention of it, though. This discussion doesn't involve me. It's between you and Miss Lin. Ozawa replied briskly. Wonderful! I'll ask her to dinner, Hazashi said with a grin, still baiting Ozawa. This doesn't concern me. If you are here to talk about my assistant in anything other than a professional capacity, then I'm leaving. Ozawa said in a dark tone, his hair levitating slightly with anger as the strong emotion inside him charged his quirk. Ah, Hazashi hummed. It's rare to see you so worked up, he teased as Aizawa turned and walked from the classroom with the loud blonde chasing him out into the hall. Is it because you don't want me to ask Miss Lin out? Why don't you say something then? Aizawa spun around, anger etched into every line of his face. This conversation is finished, he growled in a menacing tone and Hazashi backed right off. There was one thing he didn't want to do and that was piss off Aizawa. The angered mop hair teacher turned away and kept walking down the hall with Hazashi walking a little way behind, not knowing what to say, so just keeping his loud mouth shut. Once back in the staff room, Aizawa grabbed his things and left without saying goodbye, with Hazashi watching on a little sadly. And there ends chapter 78. Stay tuned for chapter 79 coming tomorrow.